multiplicative property of equality with signed fractions. In your Alex Pi mouse over the light green slice, linear equations and inequalities to reveal the drop down list of topics you need to cover. Click on multiplicative property of equality with signed fractions. Here's an example problem. Solve for u. 15 eighths equals negative five times u. Let's click explain. In this equation, u is multiplied by negative five. We can undo this by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal, negative one fifth. Then we simplify. So that's like looking at this as negative five over one times negative one over five to cancel that out to just get u by itself. And if I multiply this side by negative one fifth, I have to multiply this side by negative one fifth also. So negative one over five times positive 15 over eight. The five and 15 can cross cancel because five divided by five is one and 15 divided by five is three. So in the numerator, we have negative one times positive three. And then down here we have one times eight, which gives us negative three eighths for you. Let's try another one. Negative four thirds V equals negative 20. Solve for V. Here are my notes. Negative four thirds V equals negative 20. To get one V or to get V by itself, I need to multiply negative four thirds times the reciprocal negative three fourths. And what I do to this side of the equation, I need to do to this side also to keep it equal. So negative three fourths times negative four thirds would be positive 12 over 12, which is one. And negative 20 times negative three fourths looks like this. So I put negative 20 over one to make it a fraction so it would be easier to see what I was doing here. And then kept this negative three fourths and looking at these negative 20 and four can cross cancel because four goes into both of those. Four divided by four is one and negative 20 divided by positive four is negative five. And so these numbers are a little easier to work with when multiplying. Negative five times negative three is positive 15 and one times one is one. 15 over one is just 15. And so V equals 15. In my Alex screen, type in the answer that I got in my notes, 15, and click next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.